and here come the Ramblers. <laughs> It's a Sunday morning and we've dragged ourselves out of bed to come to the Pentlands in Edinburgh to have a little walk. So we've parked at the Flotchiston Inn and it is bloody freezing. It's almost June and it's Baltic. Welcome to Scotland. So we look around us and everyone's decked out in like walking gear, they've got their poles, they've got their hiking boots and then there's us, <laughs> totally not prepared. But it's just a short walk today. Um, but there is a payoff at the end so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's see what the Pentlands has to offer. <laughs> Roman is right, it's Sunday morning and usually we'd be having a nice wee lie-in but I think it's worth it. Once you get up and get out and go for a walk you feel good at the end and hopefully by the end of this walk the little payoff will make us feel even more refreshed. That wind is really cold. Such a shame because if the sun was out this would be really beautiful. But we've had a really bad spell recently of just crap weather. Uh, so we're really hoping that this summer brings better temperatures. It's actually really peaceful right now because there's loads of birds chirping and sheep bleating. That's right, isn't it? Uh, and there's not too many people around. I think it does get super busy here at the weekends um, and I imagine it probably is going to get quite busy soon but I think it's quite nice to come quite early uh, before the crowds. We're only 10 minutes into our walk and we've decided to stop for breakfast because my tummy was rumbling and I was starting to feel sick. So we found a little spot that's quite nice and we're going to sit and we brought some yogurt and granola, homemade granola which we're going to have now. quite a lot of sheep on the walk. It always baffles me with sheep. Um, and you see them, you think, oh, sheep. Look. I'll go over and get a closer look. And as soon as they see you, they kind of go, oh my God, humans. Even though they see loads of humans all the time, it's bizarre. They're not very smart, are they? My fingers are starting to get numb. In fact, I'm gonna check and see what the temperature is right now. Temperature is currently eight degrees. Eight degrees and it's nearly June. <sighs> On the walk to your left, you see quite a few reservoirs. Now I call it reservoirs. The man calls it reservoir, <laughs> which you and pointed out is wrong. I never knew that until I was like 40 years old. I always pronounced them reservoir. Like wire instead of var. Reservoir. We're currently walking past Glencourse Reservoir. So yeah, it's a really pretty place to come for a walk for sure if you're in Edinburgh. There's 
there's lots of cool walks you can do up into the hills and they're quite well signposted. Uh, today we're just doing a very gentle stroll around the uh, reservoir but if, if it would be nice to come back on a nice day and do a bigger walk. Cool little fact, the ruins of St Catherine's Chapel are actually submerged under the reservoir behind me. That is really cool. Imagine how cool that would be to actually like go diving under there and see it. So back in the day it was a really popular chapel for marriages and just people from the local community coming together and buying sheep and stuff. Um, another little fact I want to tell you is that in front of me is Kirkton Farm and apparently above that hill Robert the Bruce once sat and the reason he sat up there was that his <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm reading a plaque i'll just to be honest and tell you that uh, one of his knights sir william st Clair, bet his own life that his two dogs would catch an elusive white deer before it crossed the burn did they or did they not they did uh, but only narrowly so he didn't have to be killed. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> and here come the ramblers. Yeah, <laughs> the ramblers say hello. That's nice. So I think we've come as far as we want to go today. We weren't sure if maybe we could do a big loop back round to the car park at Flotterston. Um, not sure if that's an option, but we're not gonna keep going for now. We're gonna head back. So we came basically all the way around the reservoir um, and up a little streamy bit, which was nice. And for a few seconds, the sun came out and it was really beautiful, but then it went away again. Um, and Ewan's been playing about with his drone which always makes me really nervous because <laughs> it's still quite a new uh, gadget for us and I'm always scared that he's going to crash it. Uh, we had a bit of an incident when we were in the Maldives when we first got the drone and basically it was about to crash down into the sea so I stupidly put my fingers out and caught it. Not realising or remembering that there's blades on it. <laughs> they then proceeded to start cutting my fingers so that was fun uh, so since then I've got a bit of PTSD about the drone uh, but hopefully the more we use it the more confident we'll get and the more cool shots we'll be able to bring you yes the drone uh, I can only compare it to letting a dog off its leash even though you think you've got a bit of control over it by kind of like I've got the little joystick <laughs> when it goes too far, I'm like, oh my god! <clears throat> I think an air pocket's going to like get it, or a bit of wind, and it's going to take it off course, or it's just going to crash into the water. So I'm quite nervous about it because it, it it was expensive, but it's just practicing with it and getting some nice shots and just playing about with it and see what works best. That's it. It's a wee toy, really. So it's good fun. Uh, but when I'm with Romana flying it, it's like careful. Careful, not too far. <laughs> Bring it down. Bring it back now, Ewan. Bring it back. So we mentioned a big payoff at the start of this vlog, and this is it. A trickly, <laughs> piddly waterfall. <laughs> I thought it'd be more than this. It probably is. It probably would be more than this if it rained a lot more. But uh, I'm not going in there for a swim because it's full of scum and <laughs> <laughs> it looks toxic. <laughs> um, so I'll just need to go home and have a shower, but I think it would be really nice to come back here if there was a bit more water because it'd be nice uh, and refreshing. 
personally I'm quite happy because I've been cold all day <laughs> so I wasn't planning to swim anyway but um, the sun has finally come out which is really nice it's a nice way to end our walk finishing the walk with a nice little hot drink at the cafe down at Waterston. I got a hot chocolate and it's really nice and Ewan's enjoying his coffee, coffee too and they have a really nice selection of cakes in that little cafe. We decided not to have one today because we're trying to be good because very soon we're going to be on the beach in a bikini or a swimsuit. Me so, as well. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to watch our waistlines but the cakes looks really good. But yeah, the, the drinks are, are really nice. It's a nice little reward for the end of our walk. And if you fancy a spot of lunch when you come here, you can also pay a visit to the Flotterston Inn. I haven't been for many years, so I'm not sure what the, food's like, the food is like these days, but it smells really good from the outside <laughs> and it looks good. We had a wee look at the menu. So yeah, worth maybe checking out. I think we'll maybe come back here one day. It's Sunday morning and... <laughs> <laughs> Just bumped into a tree. <laughs> oh. The Angling Society fish in this reservoir. And there's lots of them here at the moment. Fishing. <laughs> If this vlog has inspired you to get up and get out, then do it. Get up and get out. Get some exercise and we'll see you next week. <laughs>